So good morning again. I'm really happy to, to have you here for the uh, next webinar of the UEG Trampoline TC, uh, today dedicated for the double mini trampoline. My name is Vladimir Zeman and I'm the TC president of the European Gymnastics, uh, 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 European Gymnastics. And um, I'm, I'm really happy you came also today. We have already provided five webinars. You can find uh, webinars on the UEG European Gymnastics website or European Gymnastics YouTube channel. They are easy, available on the YouTube channel, much more difficult on the website. And now I would like to introduce you to expert for today. I think everybody of you know Luis, who is uh, uh, one of the top experts uh, in trampoline gymnastics, uh, trampoline and double mini, not only on the European level, but also on the worldwide level. He is uh, the TC member of the trampoline TC of European gymnastics and uh, FIG and UEG expert taking part and uh, providing uh, his knowledge uh, to the coaches and gymnasts at uh, uh, very wide uh, number of the camps, coaching workshops, international camps and courses. I need to say he was also the uh, top gymnast in trampoline gymnastics competing uh, uh, on trampoline and double many two. And uh, he is a, a bronze medalist uh, from the World Championships uh, uh, 1994 uh, in double mini and uh, gold medalist in team at the same World Championships. Uh, he was also the personal coach of top gymnasts. Uh, first in double mini, Nuno and Andrea Lico, uh, who won a world double mini world champion titles in 2001, 2009, and 10. And uh, after, in the age of Olympic Games, uh, he was a personal coach of Anna Rent and Nuno Marino, uh, who participated in, uh, in I see, four Olympic Games. Uh, and he was preparing them uh, for, the, uh, for the competition. Anyway, I think most of you know him from coaching and uh, uh, cooperating with, uh, with the gymnasts and coaches. That means uh, this is Luis Nunes, our today's expert. Welcome, Luis. Thank you very much. For the, thank you very much for the presentation. You're very nice. <laughs> uh, so shall I start? It's your, uh, this is your turn now. First, I would like to, to ask you if you want to say some words to today's presentation. Yeah, 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 of course. I would, uh, people who know me, they know that I talk a lot. Um, and uh, the first thing that I, that I want to say is that this is uh, eventually the weirder, weirdest uh, thing that I've ever done in my life, which is... Uh, um, know that I'm talking for um, 42 participants now, and uh, and I don't see any of them. Um, that I will talk about something that it's very very practical, and um, I'm not in the gym, so I'm in my living room. Uh, so this is um, let me tell you that um, I'm very very nervous about about this, uh, and. Uh, uh, I hope that um, people like the presentation and then we can, uh, that I can um, uh, make people uh, be uh, hungry for more knowledge and uh, make some questions and we can start a, a small discussion that this uh, environment that uh, the question and answer uh, can, can provide a, a good discussion. 
so this is uh, if, uh, my my main goal is to, to always um, pass on my experience. Uh, I, I never say my knowledge is my experience as a coach. So uh, that's what I'm going to try to do. Okay, so shall I start? Yes, okay. please. So um, let me see if I get this right. Yeah, do you see the first slide? Yes. So um, this is, uh, as, you, as you all know, um, we are um, uh, in the uh, in the TC. We are um, promoting all these uh, webinars, and we try to to touch um, most of the all the things that we we can think about. Um, and we we wanted to talk about double mini also. And uh, when when Vladimir was uh, asking me to to talk or to do, the, do a webinar about double mini, and I was thinking about what what we can do, what we can say. Um, one of the very very important things to us is to like like you most of you know, is we are. Uh, doing some uh, some workshops and we are offering workshops especially to these uh, countries that don't have uh, double mini because we want to bring more more countries into the into the sport um, so we we try to talk about something not very practical that that this I, in my opinion we should do it in the in the gym but something that we can uh, discuss and some detail that sometimes it's not very um, people don't look at it uh, very uh, with too much attention so um, this is uh, um, eventually one of the things one of the details that uh, people um, because they the gymnasts are doing a mistake and eventually people don't see that this could be the, 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 the cause of the mistake, okay? So I'll try to do what I did. I tried to build this uh, simple um, uh, presentation uh, and hopefully uh, I, could, I, can, um, I can go uh, through these uh, easy things but that, that, that are very important. Again, like I said uh, before, I will talk about my experience. I will talk about what we do in the in the gym um, with with our kids. Um, it's not it's not uh, the the truth and the absolute truth about this uh, issue. Um, take this as knowledge that you can put in your put in your pocket that you can use uh, with one gymnast or eventually you, you need to use with other gymnasts or you can use in um, different ways okay so what i'm going to to show you this this the hurdle jump this is a very very short video uh, of what is uh, uh, hurdle jump so uh, the hurdle jump is like uh, uh, in a very simple way it's uh, jumping from the floor into the apparatus okay so after the run up of course so this is just that so you saw that the, the gymnast that we we are seeing there uh, Austin White he jumped so I, we saw the last step on the floor and now he's, he has the first contact with the double mini so this is this is the hurdle jump okay um uh, on this, I found this uh, this um, definition on the on the internet. So he said of, that the hurdle is uh, the final preparation, um, the final preparatory uh, step before performing a skill uh, from a run. Okay, so the, the purpose of of this is to properly position yourself for the takeoff. So um, it. I would I would add something or I would change something something on, on this um, definition. For me, before the takeoff, you will have the the, the first contact with the, with the with the double mini. So um, I will go through that on the on my presentation. I will try uh, to decompose. What I did was I tried to decompose and to touch 
um, most of the things, eventually there are, there are more, but most of the things that, that are around um, the other, the hurdle jump. So, um, and we, we will see this after, not the next slide, but uh, the fourth, fourth slide. So on the third slide, um, I will, I will um, present, the, while I was preparing the, the, this presentation, I went through a lot of uh, videos and, uh, um, and I've, I found this uh, video that I, I found very interesting and um, it was very, it was fun. Uh, and it's very well done, this video, so I can present a little bit what, uh, what is uh, Double Mini all about. Uh, and I hope you like the, the video. So uh, it's like around two minutes video, uh, and then we, we start uh, the presentation again, okay? This was a very nice way to finish this uh, the video with this uh, gymnast uh, attempting a quadrifice uh, mount. Um, he has a little bit of uh, uh, work to do uh, yet, uh, but as we as we could see the um, we, and this uh, uh, amazing video, uh, uh, DMT is a really really wonderful sport and uh, the develop the develop the development of it was um, amazing on this um, last uh, couple of years or last uh, after the frame was uh, uh, get got bigger and especially when the bed was changed for a six by six bed so huge de development uh, um, with the, the skills with the, the triple uh, um, um, elements and also the the twisting elements you you see as the, the video set we see a lot of more somersaults and a lot more uh, twisting so uh, and with all of that and within all of this um, for me uh, or in my opinion the hurdle jump as a, a really or plays a very very important role in all of this uh, it's um, the I'll, I'll go to the next slide to to talk to tell you what what I think so the hurdle jump um, what what can uh, the hurdle jump influence uh, on a routine or what can be influenced by the hurdle jump yeah, so uh, 
we will talk about the, the run the run up. Uh, we will talk about the the, the, the path, the trajectory of the, the hurdle jump. So if it's a, um, a faster line or a, a rounder line, so if it's higher or lower. Uh, we will talk about the first contact. Um, we'll talk about the, the, how this first contact, contact will influence um, the takeoff. And then we go through the, these uh, tips um, of what we are, what we did, what we have been doing since the, the last uh, years. So what we did do with the, with our kids, um, trying to make it fun also. Uh, so um, I hope uh, th this will uh, um, can show you some some things that we do. Um, one of the key things is like. Eventual or a lot of people um, are used to to, to work on um, trampoline, and they they try to. Uh, there, I know there are some countries that try to to work on double mini now. So let's compare the hurdle jump with the the arm set on on trampoline. So it's the preparation for for to start uh, a routine. Although on double mini we have uh, two skills only. Um, but we uh, on trampoline and we, we have 10, but that, that's where we are going to start, okay? Uh, and the run up, so if you go faster or slower, that, that means it's your straight bounces, so it's the preparation bounces. So if you go higher or, or lower, okay? So about the run up, um, and we, what, what the run up can do is can influence the hurdle jump. Uh, the, um, and one of the things that we can start to speak about is the, the, the length of, of the, this run-up, okay? Um, we, um, uh, we start, we start the, the speed or uh, the speed of the run-up uh, needs to be closer to the double mini, needs to be... Um, uh, faster on the closer to the double mini than uh, uh, far from the double mini. So um, the length of the of the of the, the run up will be uh, influ will influence the length of the jump into the double mini. So um, imagine um, grown up, they can run twenty meters. Uh, always getting faster and faster and faster going into the double mini. But when we talk about younger kids, then it's not the same thing. And sometimes uh, when you when it, you tell the young kids, like well, imagine a nine or ten year old uh, girl that you, you that are very anger to do the things uh, um, properly uh, or make it the best that, uh, that she can. Uh, and we tell me, you need to go very, very high. So you hit the double mini hard and you go very high. So what they do normally, what they do, they get as far as from the double mini as they can. In my gym is 20 meters because I have a wall on the 20 meters. Okay, so they will not run more than 20 meters. But what will happen is that they will start to run fast and they will get to the double mini um, uh, um, running slow because they are tired, okay? So the length of the jump will not be very high. So they, will, they will jump close, close from the double mini into the, to the double mini. So they will lose a lot of speed, okay? So the speed of the run will influence the length of the, the, the jump, of the hurdle jump. Okay, this is the first thing. So, like I said, like I said before, this speed of the run needs to be higher, close to the double mini. Okay, this is eventually um, you see a lot of, of gymnasts. If we observe the the way that the gymnasts uh, run, you, you see a lot of gym, uh, gymnasts that go very very slow with big steps in the beginning. Um, some of them, and we have this uh, Andre Liku, if most of you remember Andre Liku. Andre was um, a fast runner, 
but he didn't look very fast because he was he was he had a very big steps into, into during his his run. So he was um, very um, very fast, uh, uh, showing that it's, it was a really easy run. Okay, but he was very fast, closer to the double mini. So speed from slow to fast, because if you go faster, you can go higher. So you will get into the double mini with the with more power, okay? That will be influenced in the. Uh, we will talk about that with the trajectory of, of the, the the hurdle jump, uh, with the angle that will influence uh, um, everything. But um, from the main concepts of, uh, of the of the this uh, this uh, hurdle jump, if you go faster you can go higher, okay? Then you will we'll talk about that, the, the things that will influence that. So uh, one, one of the mistakes, the biggest mistake that people can do while uh, working with the, with the, and I will go through this, the, big, the biggest mistake that people can do uh, and one of the things that I would that I want to 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 speak about, especially for the um, the ones that are not very experienced on on the double mini, is making sure that your younger gymnasts you um, set a maximum length for for the run up. So don't allow them to run uh, twenty five meters. If you, if you have a big gym, uh, don't allow them to do that. I have a small gym. I have only 20 meters for the run up and, um, and none of our young gymnasts, they, they run 20 meters. There's no way they will do that. So they will run between 12 and 15, uh, no more than that, okay? So this is one of the biggest uh, concerns um, that I have uh, while I'm, I'm building up the, the double mini and when I, uh, I are teaching them how to, how to jump double mini. One of the things that I always say that we don't do uh, is the technique, of the running technique. And this, uh, um, of course, we don't do it because uh, we have a lack of time. Uh, because we do trampoline, double mini, the, the time for, for training, it's not uh, uh, very big. So we do other things, but the, the, the run-up technique, uh, if we could uh, work with the, someone from uh, athletics, or that would be very, very important um, um, for the gymnasts, especially when you go into the high performance, the, the better they run, uh, the the better result that we can get on the on our hurdle jump and our mounting skill or whatever. Okay, so um, I'll go to the to the next. So after the, after this uh, the run up, we talk about the tra trajectory of the of the skill, and here we start to talk. Um, there is a, a lot of different um, uh, perspectives of of the um, of this um, uh, problem. Uh, should it be uh, a straight line or a round and a rounder line? When I say if they jump higher uh, or they go straight into into the double mini. Um, in the, in, the, in the concept way, like the, the, the general idea of, of the thing, uh, we don't want to lose uh, the power that this horizontal speed of the run will give us. So we, we like to go faster into the, to the double mini. Uh, so we get more power and we can go higher, right? Um, but we, we, we can see it also um, uh, because there is mounting skills and spotter skills. And if we do a mount skill, so we touch the double mini and we go into the, the skill uh, right away. Uh, if we go to a spotter skill, and this means that you do a straight bounce, um, 
into the, this flat area of the double mini. And from there, we start our first skill. Um, should it be different uh, or not? Um, should we um, tell our gymnasts uh, that they need to do something different? Uh, how can we help them? Um, and then also we have uh, spot, uh, forward spotter skills and backward spotter skills. And this, uh, this, this means that you need um, a different uh, way or different length of this first uh, this um, straight bounce into the spotter. So if you are going to do a backward uh, spotter skill, you can go a little bit more. Uh, the travel can be a little, a little bit more. If you are going to do a forward uh, spotter skill, uh, you should do uh, a, a smaller uh, length of this uh, um, straight bounce. Uh, I have some videos uh, um, in the, just uh, slides ahead uh, that will show you ex exactly this. So uh, what can happen, for instance, the big, the big uh, question is about the, the spotter skills, um, especially uh, less experienced uh, uh, gymnasts. They, um, they could, can have, uh, if they are powerful, uh, sometimes they struggle with this uh, straight bounce into the, to, into the spotter, okay? And they can do eventually a, a double back or uh, on the spotter or even a half out uh, spotter, but can, they cannot control the, the speed of the run and the way that they, they get the angle of the first contact and how they, they project themselves for the straight bounce. So in my opinion, uh, with, we, without losing too much speed, but we can tell them to get this uh, rounder or higher jump into the double mini. And that would, will get them uh, a little bit less speed, um, but eventually um, a lot more uh, control to get this uh, uh, straight bounce. Um, in most of the gymnasts, this uh, strategy uh, helps them. If they do it exactly like that, um, it's very hard to, because I, we had to get, get this, all this technology with uh, videos and uh, analyzing um, the, the length of the, the, the run up and, and really uh, draw this, the line of the, the center of mass from the, the floor into, the, into the, the, the double mini to really um, be precise and tell, okay, uh, you are doing uh, higher um, uh, hurdle jump or not. Um, but sometimes or most of the times when we say something to, to a, a gymnast and when we, uh, we play with the, their minds. So sometimes it's not exactly if they do the opposite, uh, the, a different thing of what they are doing, but sometimes it's about the, the way that they think about it. It's the attitude that you um, put on the, the, the mind of your gymnasts and if they are uh, able to do it in, in a very uh, different uh, perspective and they, they will uh, eventually change the way that they can control the, the skill, okay? So uh, still, the, the length of, this, of the run-up will be very, very important. Too close to the double mini, uh, it's not good. It's not good, okay? But we, we, we will talk about this, uh, the, the, the first contact, because we will influence the first contact and the angle that you, you will be produced and how this angle will uh, influence everything else uh, after that, okay? So uh, trajectory, the big concern is about if it's a straight line, if it's rounder, how we can control that how, without losing uh, too much uh, power, okay? So the first contact. So, uh, and here, uh, the first thing that, that we, we, we will talk, uh, it's about where you put 
your arms okay so if if you use a, a swing arm uh, um, like uh, as the straight bounces on on the trampoline or if you uh, have your arms up already when you touch the double mini um, I, I i believe or in my opinion um, there is no doubt that uh, uh, at least for the mount skills the arm should be up but um, so I have I have the two examples here. So the first one is a spotter uh, routine. Okay. We have the, the spotter routine, and we have a mount routine. Okay. So I just push it as you can see here. So this gymnast she has arms down so she will do swing arm on the for this uh, straight bounce uh, element and here you have the arms up okay so on this um, on the, the this uh, second example for the the mount skill that's no doubt that the the arms should be up okay so the arms must be there. But for this uh, um, first contact, for a, a, a straight bounce, so to do a spotter element, there can be some discussion about, the, about this, okay? So, and I have this example. Uh, so we have first example, we have arms up, Okay, and the, for the second example, we have arms down. So, okay. Just put a little bit more forward here. You can see a bigger difference here. Okay, so you see on the left here. Um, this is this is a, a, a Russian gymnast. Okay, and sh the, it's very very common within the, the Russian gymnasts uh, to, if, to see this, to see the arms up already on this, uh, for this, the spotter skill. Uh, it's more common to see the, the, the second um, uh, example of the Spanish girl. Most of the, of the, the countries, they use uh, the swing arm. Okay, so the arms go from down, but they go up. Uh, for me, the, I rather use the swing arm, uh, especially when we talk about the, the younger uh, gymnasts. Okay, uh, the, because uh, um, this will, uh, when you use the swing arm, your, the center of mass will, will go down. Okay, because you have your arms down. If you have your arms up, the center of mass will go up. And this give, gives you more instability. Okay, so arms down, arms down, more stability, first thing. Um, the second thing, if you put your arms up, you have more weight on your body to, to hold. So if you are younger and you, if you're not very strong physically, that will give you more instability um, and more uh, weight to, to carry, okay? So the, the run-up is already um, uh, weight that you are going to put on your body when you touch the double mini. And if you put your arms up, it's even more. So um, both of them are correct. Uh, in my opinion, I would, I would not change uh, 
who am I to to change the the technique of this uh, very very good uh, routine from the the Russian girl? She's uh, very very good, so I would not change the way that she's doing the the, the straight bounce. Um, but um, this is for someone that is uh, physically very able, uh, very strong, uh, technically also very strong. Um, for younger ages, uh, for less experienced uh, gymnasts, uh, for someone that is learning, um, uh, there, is, there is, in my opinion, more uh, advantage if you use the, the swing arm, okay? Um, but in uh, either uh, of the these uh, techniques, let's call it technique, they both correct, okay? And you can use uh, both. So this is the first contact, uh, the first contact with the with the double mini, and um, then when when we talk about the first contact with the double mini, and this is this is something that we that uh, we touch uh, on our FIG lectures and. Uff did a very uh, a very good um, uh, uh, study uh, with this, and I have some pictures of uh, of Uf, uh, with uh, that Uf did from the first contact. Um, so when we when we uh, get this first contact uh, it, with the double mini, should this first contact to uh, be um, Closer to the edge of the double mini, so close to the to the elastic, uh, okay, or closer upper, closer to the to the red zone. Um, uh, what is the position of the of the body? Uh, so the, the angle that will transform this uh, horizontal speed into vertical speed. What should be this uh, this angle? Uh, the, when we first, I'm talking about the first contact, huh? okay? So first contact, we need to be um, completely uh, straight already and being ready to for the takeoff, or we need to be close um, uh, and, and ready to put all the weight that we can on the double mini, okay? So uh, this is... Um, uh, five examples of the first touch for five gymnasts uh, at uh, this is uh, 2009 world championship i think in st petersburg um, and here we have uh, five gymnasts so you see here uh, all the five gymnasts I are like in this sitting position. And I believe, and all of them are going to do like uh, Pike Rudiat or Trifis or Fulling Rudy or something. Uh, so they will do a uh, mount skill. So uh, I didn't talk about this, but most, or I don't believe, I don't remember to see any uh, high level uh, male gymnast uh, doing um, uh, a spotter uh, routine. So this, is, this has completely disappeared and uh, it will disappear among the, the, uh, um, the top uh, girls also. Uh, uh, at the moment, uh, spotter is going to be used mainly by the by the, the younger ones, okay? Or the ones that are not strong enough to get the, the spotter. But as you all can see here, they are very close, very, um, it's like, a, <laughs> it's not exactly a pike position, but they, they are in the, here, Andre Liku, it looks like he's sitting down uh, when he's going to first touch. And you can see that his, his uh, arms are very, very low. It's, it's the lowest arms that um, that in this uh, from the, the, all these five gymnasts and eventually is the one that was jumping higher on this uh, on this um, first uh, skill on the mounting skill. Okay. So uh, what I want to say with with this ah and they are the the other thing that I wanted to to tell you is all of them. 
as you can see here, eventually here, uh, Bruno uh, Martini um, are the one that, that is closer to the edge of the double mini. The others are uh, pretty much in the middle of the, of the mounting, okay? Uh, here, Kirill Ivanov is um, uh, right, I think we're right in the middle, okay? So this will influence the, the, the way that they are going to uh, get themselves into, from this first contact into the, the maximum depression, which is the next slide that I have, um, and uh, add into the takeoff. So, uh, so this, the hurdle jump will influence uh, the, the first touch and the takeoff, okay? So this is so the takeoff. It's it's a, a consequence of the first touch. There is no doubt. Um, if you are, this is where I want to to go to. So sometimes or a, a lot of times that in in my gym now I see this uh, a lot. I have this um, um, older older gymnast that is uh, fighting for to to be in the, the national team, in national senior team. And one of the mistakes that this guy uh, does is um, he jumps, when he touch, when he first touch the double mini, um, is very, very close to the, um, to the red zone. But there are two ways of, of getting there. You can, I go back a little bit, sorry. So you can be close to the red zone with this position and you have you are really well placed you are close to the red zone but it doesn't matter you will push you you will get um, a nice uh, um, takeoff but if you are so close to the red zone so in the middle and but you cannot get this position because if you get this position you go over or over the red zone or with the feet, uh, all the feet on the red zone. So that, that would mean a zero because you, 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 you need to touch the, the, the white zone here, okay? So normally this is uh, because you are uh, uh, doing your hurdle jump too close from the double mini. So, and this leads you to, uh, if you're going to do a, a trifis, for instance, or a full enough out strike that you need a really nice extension, normally you will not do that, that extension because you don't have time, you don't have space for it. You, you, you put yourself small uh, doing this takeoff, okay? Uh, because you are so close to, to the to the um, to the red zone that you you don't put your feet uh, you don't use your heels to stop this horizontal speed okay and then you have a mistake so either uh, or most most of the times you go you you travel too far maybe uh, maybe the mistake so the mistake of of the um, uh, of the gymnast it's not exactly uh, um, the, um, the skill, but the mistake is the way that is doing the hurdle jump and the length of the, the hurdle jump. If, or eventually this, the hurdle jump, it's being influenced by the, the run. Uh, I have a girl that is, um, that is doing very, very nice uh, mounting uh, uh, routines, uh, half outs, very, very nice. But every time uh, that we see um, small steps before the hurdle jump, by, by the end of the runner, so small steps uh, to, before she jumps into the double mini, normally it's not as good uh, mounting skill because she lost speed, she jumped closer to the double mini she because of this she was smaller on the on the um, on the moment of the when she touched the double mini and when she, she made the, the extension so all of this makes um, a very big influence of course 
if you jump very very far from the double mini uh, most of the times you 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 hit the double mini uh, too close to the edge and because the the edge of the double mini you don't have springs there you have an elastic elastic only and the way that the double mini depresses and uh, pushes you um, normally the, the the skill tends to be very short so it's like you are pushing pulled back uh, from from the um, from the double mini so normally this um, uh, mounting skills or even if it's a straight bounce they are very very short okay uh, it's like being pulled back so here we have a, a photo of the the maximum depression and if you remember that uh, all of these gymnasts they looked like they were sitting uh, without a, a chair uh, right now they have and they had the arms really low okay so right now at maximum depression um, of the of the bed they are with the arms up they are almost with full extension that not a, still uh, with the full extension because they are not on the right moment of the takeoff okay uh, they will they will but they are already preparing themselves to go uh, to have a really nice extension of uh, for the the mounting skill so uh, this is this is the example this is really good this is really good so they they had they are let's say they are comfortable on in the way that what they did for um, as a, a hurdle jump and how they first touch the the double mini where they first touch the double mini and uh, how uh, this will allow them to be comfortable to do this extension for the takeoff okay so i went through uh, the things that i um that i believe that will that are around this uh, uh hurdle jump and uh that can influence or be influenced. So uh, all these small problems that we can talk about. Okay. Um, after this, so I'll go to the um, to some tips. Uh, uh, so the 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 games that we normally we use uh, in the gym uh, to work on, on this. Um, so I found this video. Uh, from uh, th this uh, this video is uh, much bigger uh, but i just uh, uh, took the the parts that uh, that i want so this first video is about um uh the the mounting skill of course but how you can help your uh, small uh, kids to to get uh, to get this uh, hurdle jump of course I will play the video and then I'll, I'll talk about the video about the things that I agree and uh, don't agree. Um, there are not much things that I don't agree, but uh, we'll talk about the video after after that. It's, a, it's not a very long video. So here we have a mat on the floor that will help the gymnast uh, jump into the double mini. Okay, uh, same thing, but slight different. Not not with this thing inclined. Uh, uh. Okay, so we have we have here um, three examples of how you can help your gymnast uh, uh, start uh, to do this hurdle jump. Okay, so. Um, the first, this uh, in inclined plat platform, um, it's very, very good for uh, uh, this uh, five, six, seven-year-old that are very small because double mini is uh, pretty high in the in the in the um, in the mount. Uh, uh, and normally, if you have a very small um, a kid, uh, they struggle to to jump to to the double mini. You will see that on my on the videos that I have from my gym. You will see that I, because I have one uh, small gymnast in the in the videos, and uh, she's making mistakes 
because uh, she's not jumping, um, running properly, and she's not jumping uh, um, properly into the to the double mini. But anyway, the only thing that I would change in the in here, in my younger, in the, for the young, younger ones, is is like I told you in the beginning, it's the arm swing. Okay, so this uh, gymnast, she has. Wait. Um, so the gymnast. Oops, I'm sorry. She has the arms up. Oops, I cannot. Why can I do not do this? Well, I cannot do it. Okay, so this is my gym. Welcome to my gym. So, um, first of all, I'm, I'm going to show you uh, two different ways that we do it in the gym. Uh, and uh, we do it like a, a competition. Um, and um, I used uh, our recreational kids to do this. Not, there's no one, none of this, the gymnasts that you are going to see, they do um, uh, competition, okay? So uh, the first, the first uh, way that we do, uh, or one, not the first, but one of the ways that we do is uh, we build platforms, okay? Uh, and as you, can, we, you will see on this first video that I will play on the left, we don't have any um, uh, mats on the double mini, okay? And you will see the the length of the of the the jump. So on the here on the floor, let me try to show you. They will they jump. So this first line that you see closer to the double mini is one meter. The bigger line is one meter. The second, okay. So. You see the, the girl, she did a mistake. So let's see on the second video. So we, so you see that the, the, the boy is um, jumping farther from the double mini now. And this, the small girl now, because she had a bigger uh, platform on the double mini, Eventually, because of that, she already uh, um, uh, jumped farther from the double mini, and it was she used the arms, the swing arm, to go into the to the double mini, okay, or into the to the top of the platform, okay. So, another video again. I don't know if you can see that that they are the this the guy this boy arrived faster on the on the on the run up and the last one she she will do a mistake again she she thought that she could not do it okay so let me go back uh, just uh, to the previous slide okay let me so let's take a look only to the 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 first gymnast the the boy that is uh, with red t-shirt is the first one so on the first video he will jump um uh, ahead of this of the first line so less than, than one meter he was jumping less than less than one meter okay on the second you will see already the second he was already jumping uh, more than one meter, okay? And on the third uh, one, he was close to one meter and a half, okay? And I can tell you that I didn't um, say anything to, the, to, the, to these three gymnasts. I just told them, you need to jump. Uh, so I was building this platform. Uh, higher and higher, okay. Um, and I, the only thing that I did is they need to jump to the top of the platform, and they could not uh, um, uh, bend the legs. They need to go with the legs uh, straight all the time. So that was the only thing that I, that I told them. 
okay? Uh, don't, I didn't tell them uh, jump uh, uh, far, from, uh, um, uh, run faster, jump farther from, from the, the, the double mini. I didn't say anything, okay? So they did that. They jumped farther from the double mini because they knew that they needed to go higher and they needed to get more power into the double mini. So they changed everything, okay? So other thing, it's like um, you use a rope on the floor and uh, uh, you can see the rope there. So first video, the rope is uh, at one meter away from the, the double mini, okay? And you will, different gymnasts now. So you have this big one in the beginning. So this guy is like one meter 90, <laughs> it's very, very high and, and the, 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 the boy with the red t-shirt, okay? Now, the rope is one meter and a half away from the double mini, okay? And you see that they can do it also, okay? And then we have one meter 75, <laughs> more or less, okay? And they still can do it. The straight bounce looks better for me, okay? And also the swing arm looks much better. So this is, I'll go back. Uh, so I went, I, I, of course, that in the, while I was doing the this um, uh, game with, with the kids, I didn't went from uh, one meter 75 to, Two meters seventy-five. I didn't do that, so I I went uh, slowly. So I I have more stages in in the middle of this. But just to show you that close to three meters, this um, big guy, this guy with the, uh, almost one meter and ninety, uh, is uh, very. He doesn't know how to to jump double mini. Uh, he just came to is uh, recreational. He is uh, doing trampoline for. Um, because we are in lockdown most of the time this year, uh, eventually two months that is uh, jumping and is not very talented. But uh, because of this game, he was able to jump almost three meters. And I can tell you that uh, most of the the big kids on in our in our gym, the guys that are fighting for the the senior national team, they are. Um, uh, jumping three meters and a half, uh, 360s, 370, not much more than that. Okay. So this guy, not, uh, not uh, experienced at all, is jumping uh, um, close to three meters. And then I challenged them to jump three meters. And I used, and I put this uh, um, mat on the, 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 double, the double mini and another mat. On the on the frame on the um, under the double mini, okay. So if he didn't reach the double mini, he would not hurt himself um, on the, on the frame, okay. So um, he was jumping three meters, and he was able to do it. Three meters, not no uh, without any experience, and he was able to do uh, the, this uh, hurdle jump, okay? So we make it like a, a long jump competition, okay? So if they don't, um, if they cannot do it uh, on the first attempt, we allow them to, to do again. So, and one thing that, I, uh, that we do here, we don't allow them to uh, run as much as they want. So I limit the length, the length of, of the jump of the run sorry so maximum so i always go between 12 and 15 meters um why 12 and 15 minutes because uh that's what we use we all use so it seems it seems right for me i don't know why so 12 uh, 12 15 uh um okay and then and then uh the the security of course in everything that we do on trampoline, uh, all these uh, games that we play, um, 
security it's always very very important especially when you have uh, gymnasts that that uh, try very very hard to achieve what we are um, asking and all the these gymnasts that especially you need to be careful especially these gymnasts that always want to do um, more and more and more this is very good but we need to in um, and the um, security uh, um, to take security measures to to make sure that they don't get hurt so um, I hope this um, not that I didn't took uh, too long. Uh, I was, as I said, around 40 minutes. Uh, I think I, I, I did it in 40 minutes. Um, so now, uh, Vladimir, I don't know um, if you want to invite uh, the people to uh, give me some, put some questions. So I will interrupt this. Uh, okay. Okay, I hope uh, I could help uh, people with the, with my presentation, and I hope I was not too long. It was perfect, thank you, Luis. Anyway, before we start the next uh, part of the uh, of the webinar, uh, what should be questions and answers? Uh, I, I would like to to introduce you our two special guests for today. The first uh, of our guests for today is uh, Ulf Andersen, uh, who is uh, FIG and DEG coaching expert and uh, who is uh, the uh, personal uh, leader coach of uh, Lina Sjöberg, who is a uh, double world champion in double mini. And Ulf has also his own rich uh, competitive uh, career. Uh, on trampoline and double mini. Uh, he participated at um, uh, three world championships and uh, five European championships and uh, became a uh, European champion in 1993. He broke also the world record on double mini, uh, double mini in uh, 1990. That means uh, and I, I, I will... Sorry I will Sorry to interrupt him you. To... Yeah, but I'm sorry to interrupt you. We were um, European champions together. Me I know Wolf, that was a special year. Uh, there was uh, <laughs> there were four European champions uh, at yes. uh, 1993 because this was, I think, the first year when the uh, final started from zero. Yeah. Yeah. And no tie break. Yes. Okay. Welcome, Ulf. He's not there. Uh, it seems he's there. Can you hear me? Yes. yes. Yeah. Ah. We don't see you, Ulf. Okay. Uh, maybe that's the best for everyone concerned. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have your hair done. Uh, but I, no. I, I need to prove that you are there. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, uh, now I think I know how to do this. Uh, anyway, I'm uh, uh, currently in uh, in Stockholm, where we are just about to start a, a small uh, national team training camp. So the the kids are warming up at the moment, making some noise. Um, so. Uh, thank you, Luis, for a nice presentation. Uh, I, of course, disagree with everything. No, <laughs> no, no. Uh, I, I really don't have much, uh, uh, much to add. I, I think we're we're on the same level, Luis. Uh, just uh, one thing that I, I th thought about was. Uh, uh, the length of, of the hurdle jump, and you said that uh, the boys in your club fighting for the to get a, a, a place in the national team, they jump uh, 350, 360. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in my experience, that's a, a little bit longer than uh, um, than we do in, in my country, and maybe also compared to some of the best in the world. But then again, the Portuguese. 
uh, tend to jump really, really high in general. So mm. maybe there's uh, there's a color correlation there. Uh, have you have you studied that or thought about it? And I thought I thought about I never studied that, but um, this this is the length of the the hurdle. This is one of the things that we that we look at uh, a lot. Um, and one of the gymnasts, that, as I was saying, one of the gymnasts that moved to our club uh, last year, and one of the problems that he has is this: um, she doesn't have, he doesn't have uh, enough control to get into f into the takeoff because he's always very close to the to the to the red zone, and so he doesn't make a full extension, and he doesn't have so the the length of his hurdle. Is not uh, is less. It's very very close to three meters. It's three meters and um, a small uh, thing. So it's not three fifty. And he, I think, if he improves that, that would give him a, a, a boost on the way that he was uh, going to do the dismounting skills because he's struggling to do trifies. Okay, and uh, it does a lot of mistakes whenever he tries to do full enough out straight off. When really, it does a lot of mistakes. As he, he travels far all the time. Yeah, and and uh, I'm sure you you agree with me. We we, we can talk about uh, centimeters and so on. But if and the, you you mentioned a little bit uh, a little bit about if the if the hurdle jump starts too close to the double mini, this is problematic. But also, of course, if 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 the hurdle jump starts too far away from the double mini, that's it's also problematic because yes. then that will uh, mean that you will lose uh, speed. Yeah, um, you will put you will you will be uh, too far with the feet too far, so the 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 angle will be very close, and yeah. you touch the edge of the double mini, and you will be pushed back. So it's it's always. Uh, um, like most of the thing, it's the um, uh, an agreement between the speed, the length. Uh, it's, it's it's in the middle. It's yeah, a yeah. negotiation. It's a negotiation all the time. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and and I I I noticed, especially when we were in Hamburg uh, one or two years ago at the UEG training camp, uh, and I noticed this before also that Daniel Schmidt, who is uh, one of the very best in the world in double mini. He is obviously very talented and, and really strong on double mini, but he has a really short hurdle jump also. Uh, yeah, we talk about that. Yeah. 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 So so it it yeah. all depends. Uh, um, yeah. Sorry, Vladimir. No, it was not Vladimir. Ah. No, that was not me. <laughs> now, but I remember uh, from Daniel that we talk about this the hurdle. And uh, this is exactly what I what I said in the beginning. So we were, of course, Daniel. Technically, is not um, uh, there are not uh, much things that we can add. And so we 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 were focusing on um, a completely different thing uh, rather than the technique. And what, what the the thing is the technique of the skill. So we were uh, working on something that will influence. The, um, the the technique of the skill. Uh, so it's not about um, where, uh, how you twist, how you somersault, where you open. It's something that will influence your skill. So it's a completely different way of how normally the coaches uh, coach. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, guys, to interrupt you. Uh, Daniel is today with us and he agreed. Uh, to, to be uh, promoted as panelist, and uh, now he is with us. Uh, you said already that uh, Daniel is one of the best world double mini gymnasts. Uh, I would like to add as well uh, that he competed at five Europeans and eight world uh, championships, and he won uh, two times a double mini gold medal in 2010, one individual and one uh, team uh, gold medal. Welcome, Daniel. Hi, everyone. And uh, I hope you have heard the discussion be between our experts uh, about you. And please share with us your experience, your view on uh, on this topic. Yeah, this is one of the uh, main topic I want to talk about. And my hurdle jump, um, Bruce said that one of my hurdle jump is very short. 
So I think it's around about 340 or maximum 350. Um, we saw it two years ago in the um, training camp in Hamburg. Mm, so I try to improve this, but I think maybe I'm too old to improve that. <laughs> or um, we also try some games like with the rope or with a mat or a box before the uh, in front of the double mini, but it never changed. <laughs> the box, uh, actually, the box I didn't spoke about uh, because in the video, this uh, the video that had the, this uh, inclined platform and uh, and the mat. Um, I don't like very, very much to use the box because the box um, makes you jump uh, too high. Uh, so the line, it's not very straight. So people tend to, to jump very high. Um, normally, I, I don't use uh, this box. But um, sometimes it's not exactly because you are old or something. Um, I think you are comfortable on the, in the way that you are doing and you are very very experienced and you you already adapt on this the way that you are doing now so um of course we can always improve and think about improving but uh, i understand that it's it's uh, sometimes or uh, it's hard to to change that um it's harder when you are older and more experienced and you are used to do things in a certain way. Um, it's not that you are not open-minded to change things, but, um, but sometimes it's harder to, to change. So it's easier to do it uh, from the beginning with the younger ones. So when you are making, when you are building a gymnast, it's, uh, it's easier to do it. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, um, I'm also coaching our young athletes. So I'm looking forward to do a better and wider hurdle jump, but uh, I think the time for me, I feel comfortable. So, but um, awesome. to, to improve my trip mount or something or my height, yeah, I, I want to get higher, but uh, yeah. I cannot find the best solution. Also with my dad, I think yeah. he's a good coach, but we talk a lot um, about the hurdle and the high with the training camp in Hamburg, but yeah, both you and me, we're talking and discussing all the time. My problem, I think, is when I try to jump a longer hill jump, I fall with my um, upper body um, too much in the front, so I cannot reach the high after this. Okay. But, but my, my point is, is really that, of course, there's a, a minimum and, and a maximum, but, but also the, the tolerances are, are quite big because, uh, I mean, uh, take the, take the, um, the run-up, for instance. Uh, many, peop many people use your 20 or 22 and a half meters, uh, but... Uh, Lina Huber, for instance, uh, up until very recently, she had only just about 60, just a little bit more than 60 meters. Yeah. And she still did, still did uh, really uh, difficult mounts. And some of us remember Stefan Eislöffel, uh, one of the very best in, in the 90s from, from Germany. And he had a really short run up also. Yeah. So it's, it's very much individual. Yeah. Yeah, and we have, we have Bruno Nobre that normally he, he run uh, twenty five meters. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So Bruno, Bruno, for instance, he would never ever train in my gym, never, because I only have twenty meters, so it was not not enough for him. Um, okay. Also, how long is the the length of Elina's hurdle jump? Yeah. Sorry. Sorry? The the length of the hurdle jump from Nina. How long is it? Uh, ooh. <laughs> no, I, I measured it not too long ago, but uh, it's just not just over three meters. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, guys. Thank so, you very much. Uh, if you do, you have uh, something to add to the uh, presentation? Yeah, if I have not, one, one more question. Yeah. yeah. Um, I was um, asking in the Q and A box. Um, few minutes ago or in the beginning i asked about the the maximum speed is this the best way for the run up or do you think round about 85 to 8 and 95 percent 
I think, I think um, when, when I'm running 100%, it's a little bit uncontrolled or too aggressive. Yeah, exactly that. Exactly that. It's like, uh, it's like. Um, so I, I said in the beginning that um, the the run up, it's like the straight bounces on on the trampoline. Uh, on trampoline, you don't um, you don't uh, start with the with one hundred percent of your height. Okay, it's uh, so you don't go as high as you can. So because it, it starts to be un un uncontrolled. Okay. Run up is this for me is the same thing. So you need to, to run as fast as you can, as long as you are in control. So if you go very fast, when you jump into the double minute, you will be off eventually off balance or very likely off balance. And so the first touch on the double mini will be not balanced. And of course, the takeoff will not be okay. So uh, I don't know the percentage if it's 85% or 75 or something, but it's as fast as you can, in control. Okay, thank you guys. I think we can start the um, uh, questions and answers section uh, or part of the, uh, of the webinar. Uh, I have noticed some, uh, some uh, uh, questions. Uh, the first one is from Alice. When you say you have younger gymnasts only running from 12, 15, uh, meters which age do you refer to and uh, then change to longer well uh, I, I don't have a specific age uh, it depends of the the level uh, for instance as i told you as i showed in the in the videos this uh, very tall guy that is uh, um, completely new in the gym uh, i don't allow him to to run more than than this 12 15 meters uh, if he gets more ex experience um, he would be able to, if he, I will allow him to, to run more. So it's uh, about um, the level of experience. Um, if I know, if I, if I can see that he's able to um, get this uh, increased uh, speed into the double mini, this is, it's not easy, exactly about uh, an age, it's about experience, what they are going to do on the, um, on the mounts, uh, which what kind of skills? It depends of a lot of a lot of things. It's not there's not a recipe for like more for most things on trampoline. There is not a, a recipe to do things. Okay, you have some ingredients, but the recipe it's not always the same. Okay, thank you. Uh, I don't know if if Ulf, Ulf or Danielle would want to add something on this, or I don't know. The next question is from Kendrick. When working with your gymnasts on their mounts, what is the maximum number of uh, stacked uh, mats have you used uh, for a scale? That means how many mats? Uh, I don't know. No. Two, three mats, not more. But it depends if only if I want to. Um, if I want to make them increase the height or so, um, make better the, the takeoff, so a better um, uh, direction of the, the takeoff. Um, but normally we, we don't use this uh, big platform. So if I want, especially I use platforms uh, in height or uh, very high platforms. If I want to prove to someone that they can do that skill higher, okay? Uh, because sometimes you are saying to, to a kid, ah, oh, you need to go high, you need to do this and that, and nothing happens. And then you build this platform and you tell that, and they are, for instance, they have half out tuck and they are always short on the landing, always short. And then you build this platform, like with the two or three mats, and you, you ask them to do uh, half out uh, to, the, to the top of the platform. Uh, so they will have more time from the this until the the landing on the double mini. So um, um, not very big, not very big. I can add something. Um, we play sometimes this um, game. We call it the Tower of Mat. And I think for the Barani, I you can do five or six mat. Also with younger kids, 
to to force them and then they improve the the height so but what we said for half out tag or a full and half for our national um, gymnast i think it's um three or maximum format but it's just to improve the the height yeah but it, de it depends on the mat okay so yeah. because in my in my videos in my videos the first mat it was very very big was very big and then i had the small one okay so it depends of the mats but uh, i don't know uh, we in in mat. our in our gym in, in Uppsala, we're we're lucky because we have a lot of different mats so this is the ideal of course if you if you have this possibility to have different height of of mm -hmm. mats uh, depending on what you what what you want to achieve, but sometimes when we uh, train uh, trips uh, to do trip mount uh, with Gustav, we 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 let him do uh, really high half outs on on a really high mat also. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, guys. The next question also from Kendrick is uh, also how long should uh, you spend working on the height? Uh, of your mounts per week and uh, I think uh, this question could be uh, dedicated to all of three of you. Well I can start um, well it's always depending of the of the the time of the season that you are if you can spend uh, more time if you are not uh, um, on the competition season uh, if you are like now <laughs> that we are locked down, although we will have next weekend, uh, we have uh, trials for Europeans, uh, but it's only a, a small part of the of the gymnasts. Um, uh, the, the majority of the gymnasts they don't uh, they cannot even train. But if if you don't if you are in this like you don't have a competition, it's off season. Um, you can work on on the height, but. Um, I would not do it every single day. I would because I don't want to. I don't like to do the training similar training every single day. But I would. I would do a couple of times during the week eventually. Uh, I I look forward to hearing what Daniel says because. Uh, well, I, I actually have to leave now because we start training. So I want to thank for for listening. Thank you, uh, Luis, for listening to you and Vladimir for inviting me. And Daniel, thank you, thank good, you Wolf. Uh, Daniel, good luck with the training for preparations for Europeans. Excellent. Okay. Thank you, Wolf. Thank you, Wolf. Okay, bye. Enjoy your training. I will. <laughs> so what was the last question <laughs> the last question was about uh, spending of time uh, for working on the height of uh, uh, mounts per week I cannot say it in hours or in exercises but um, we try to improve our high or the, the maximum power in our uh, legs with box jumps or sometimes we want to try to work more with uh, weights, um, but yeah, we don't have uh, exactly planned what we are doing the whole week or how many hours we have to do um, exercises to reach higher height. Well, I I, th I thought the, the question was uh, about uh, on the double mini, right? Not not exactly on uh, oh, okay. what you what you do outside, like uh, the physical preparation. So, in in terms of uh, what kind of uh, the training that you 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 put the the mats or the platform that you do you work on your height for the um, for the double mini. So. Uh, um, uh, when I answered the, the question, was uh, thinking about this, about uh, um, how or when, the, how many times uh, per week I would do put the, the mats there to get the height. So I would, I would, I would go around two times, two maximum three times. If if they are, if the gymnasts go every single day, because uh, most of the the gymnasts they don't go every single day to training so they yeah, it depends they three, um, from three, the four season. times a week yeah it depends from the season so when you are preparing so you can do it 
three times maybe in the week to improve your high, but in front of or directly before competitions, um, we try to do the whole passes, not to improve yeah. with um, a new um, platform or something. Okay, thank next, you. Next the next question, question uh, we have is uh, about the a hurdle jump itself. Would you want uh, to uh, to have a shallow uh, trajectory, which is uh, which would be faster? That means I understood uh, lower trajectory uh, or a higher, more uh, arc uh, trajectory into the first skill. Uh, does it depend on the skill you are doing? Yes. Luis, please. For me, for me, yes. For me, yes. Especially so for mount skills. So you are doing a half out mount. So um, I would always go to this straight line. So as f jumping from the, the the floor into the double meaning. So this the hurdle jump uh, low and straight into the double meaning. This is this is what I think that. So you lose less uh, horizontal speed that will give you more power into, into, the, into the first skill. But if you have spotter skills, this will get, and then you have a straight bounce uh, mount. Um, this is um, much harder to control. And uh, I believe that, that Daniel, uh, you are not doing spotter routines for a long time, <laughs> especially because they are hard to control. Uh, it's difficult to, to get um, uh, a high degree of difficulty in the, in the spotter uh, skills. Um, but um, but uh, when I work that, and if I see that to a gymnast, are struggling with this control uh, um, of the of the straight bounce. I would always tell them to uh, make a, a rounder uh, tra trajectory of the hurdle jump. I, like I said in the presentation, I'm not sure if they really they do this more rounder uh, um, uh, hurdle jump. But in a way, what, what, I, what, I'm, what I'm sure that I'm doing is I'm playing with their minds and I'm making them uh, looking at the, the, the first skill, the, the, the straight bounce in a different way, in, the, in a more controlled way. So they need to get more control on the, on the, on the, the first uh, skill that they do on the, on the double meeting. Yeah. So I don't know if, if Daniel has... Uh, I absolutely agree. Um, sometimes we um, talking about when we do spotter skills for our younger and also so a lot of women have to do spotter skills. So then we talk about the length of the run up. Maybe it's 10 centimeters shorter um, to get a higher hurdle jump. Not the, for the mount, the directly the, the um, low run up and um, hurdle jump. So we try to, to improve the, the stability and the high for the spotter mount with a higher hurdle jump. Yeah. I would not change the, 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 the length, length of, of, the, of, of the run. I would keep the, the length of, of the run. It's just the, it's, let's say it's the attitude that you, when you jump into the double mini, it's the, the attitude. If you are more aggressive or more in control, it's, um, it's sometimes it's more of a feeling that you, um, it, the way that you look at it. And sometimes it's uh, uh, the way that you play with the minds of the gymnasts, okay? So uh, this, is, uh, this is very, sometimes it's more important. Okay, thank you guys. Uh, the next uh, notice and question is from Miguel. Uh, do you think uh, that we tend to think about uh, too much uh, in comparing double mini hurdle jump with track and fields long jump event? Uh, nevertheless, uh, I would say uh, that the triple jump would be a more accurate picture. It is uh, not only the hurdle jump, but also the transition movement between the jump and uh, the takeoff movement. 
uh, I, I would say we need to say some words about importance of this transition. Yeah, we, we are. Uh, I don't agree that we are um, long jump. I don't because long jump. They will when they land on the the box of sand. They are as with the feet as far as they can. Okay. Uh, of course, they would. They don't fall back there, but they will uh, land uh, with most of all the body where they land with the feet. But they are completely. Um, off balance, they would never do something or a somersault or something from that landing. Okay, uh, I agree that the transition on the trip. Uh, the, I never thought about that. I'm thinking now, huh? um, but uh, Miguel, Miguel, he, he called us the the bad guys in the in the beginning, but he is always the bad guy making these difficult questions. Um, but I believe I believe that the the transition uh, of the triple jump. This could uh, be something similar, uh, although we have this first jump and the, we land with both feet on the double mini, but uh, we need to be balanced to make the transition into the, the first skill. And on triple jump, they need to be balanced to keep on pushing for the next hurdle, okay? So, um, this could be something that we could uh, think about and but always um, the track and field experience and technique would be very very important uh, to bring into the into the um, uh, our technique of, of the run up and and of course of the of the hurdle because um, they they uh, study the technique for many years and this uh, they have uh, all of that uh, in the small details um, and i i believe that uh, eventually most of uh, the, these uh, big countries on double mini they already do this with the, the especially with the national teams um, uh, we don't do it uh, uh, for several reasons uh, but uh, it would be important yes I cannot add uh, something. Okay, thank you. Uh, the next question is, uh, what about the height of the hurdle jump? Uh, should we hit the uh, double mini from upside down or more in line with the uh, DMT height? Luis? Sorry, uh, again? What about the height of the hurdle jump? Yes. Should we hit the uh, double mini from upside down? Okay or more in line with the uh, DMT height? Okay. Well, uh, if we hit the double mini from up to down, uh, it means we, are, we have a higher uh, hurdle jump. This means that we, we lost most of the, of the speed uh, that we had on the run-up, okay? Uh, that will give us more control, but less height. So it depends of what we are going to do. Um, if we are doing a mount, a mount skill, um, that would be hard to do a difficult, difficult art skill. If we are going to do this uh, straight bounce into the spotter and, and then from the spotter do something, if we want to do a hard skill on spotter, um, a double back, um, half and half out, uh, a full in, full out spotter like uh, Pencho Penchev did on the, back in the 80s. Um, if you want to do this kind of skills or uh, half out pike, for instance, for the girls, they use it a lot. You cannot go uh, too, too slow. So this, this hurdle jump going up to down uh, gives you the control, but you need to understand also that you lose a lot of power. Okay, so it's like we we spoke uh, when uh, Hof was here. It it's always the balance between things, the control that you need to have to to go to the spotter or for the mount, you need to get have this control or the power that this uh, straight line uh, hurdle jump gives you, so you don't lose. Uh, as much speed from the, the horizontal speed. So we, we, the thing is, 
we, we need to um, uh, um, pay attention to is that the amount of horizontal speed from the run up will influence or it gives you the power to transform into vertical speed. So more horizontal speed with the proper angle, you get better uh, um, vertical speed. Okay, so you put more power into the double mini and you get this power. If you get the right takeoff, you get more power. If you get the wrong angle, you, you, then you don't go as high. If you jump higher on the, the hurdle jump, you lose all this uh, horizontal speed. So not all, but most of it, okay? So it's always in the, in the middle. That's, there is not a right answer. So eventually this would be very, very important if we, we would be in the gym now. So now, what, with all this the, all the discussion, we have a, a few uh, gymnasts that are doing some skills, and we ask them to do uh, this rounder hurdle, and we could see the, the difference. OK, thank you. Uh, the next question is, um... Luis, uh, your opinion about in mount a uh, referenced view in first contact is down or another point uh, view? Uh, maybe uh, I'm where under understanding where wrong should, eye contact. Yeah, yeah. Where should we look when yeah. uh, when we are doing this uh, mount skill? Uh, you want to, uh, Daniel? You want to to uh, answer first? Yeah, I, I, I have, I have, for me, that's one thing for sure, especially when you do mount skills. When you do mount skills, you need to do something. Let me, uh, before, before I answer, let I me try, see. I but I don't know exactly where I'm looking. I, I have to go to the gym and, but I think when I do the run up, I'm looking into the, um, the mount. The whole time, mm -hmm. and when no, I but when you are going to do the takeoff, I the think that, that the, the this coach I think for me it's the end of the double mini or maybe the mat. I think okay. so. Yeah. Now, uh, for me, for me, you should look to this to the place where you want to land. Yeah. Okay, that's true. Okay, so I want to land there. So you like you are driving yourself there. Um, hopefully, you are not not looking leaning yourself forward because then you go forward you look you look to the to the spot where you want to land with your eyes not with your body okay so yeah, sometimes yeah. sometimes you you when you look to something you you use your body to 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 look no no just the eyes so place yourself a nice takeoff so a nice extension with the eyes looking at the place where you want to land yeah Okay, thank you. Uh, next question is, do you have any specific conditioning exercises to assist the speed of the run up uh, or the body tension in the mount, please? No, what uh, the small things, like I, like I said, um, we don't do um, much of the, this uh, work on the, on the um, run up. Uh, very specific for the technique of the run-up. We, what we do uh, mostly is um, is the skipping, so low skipping, high skipping. So it's more of these uh, techniques and some uh, some uh, games that we play with the, with small kids that we make them run fast, jumping to into uh, mats, landing with both the feet. So um, it's more about games. Like I said. Uh, unfortunately, um, we tend not to train a lot of uh, these uh, um, issues um, because we, uh, we don't have much time. So we, we, this is one of the things that we, unfortunately, we don't do. But I would, this is one of the things that I would love to learn about. Okay, thank you. Uh, it's also the next question is connected. Uh, do you use drills uh, for arm swing uh, with your younger kids or uh, you let them find their own way as long as the arms are in the correct position for the takeoff? 
I would say I would allow them to do their own way as long as the 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 the, the body and the, the amount of mistakes are are not being done. If they use the arms up, they can control the, the uh, they touch the, the, the double mini with the arms up to do a straight bounce, for instance, for a spotter routine. They have the arms up and they can control. Uh, they don't bend the, the they don't um, they don't have a, a, a loose core uh, if they go high I would allow them to do uh, without a problem uh, um, I'm not very um, whenever I say something about the arm should be down or the arm should be up or uh, there are there was uh, there are some coaches that say you need to twist left or you need to twist right so you need to twist in one direction, I, you, you have each. I believe that each uh, gymnast has their own way, and like uh, like uh, Daniel um, said before, it's very hard for him now to adapt for a longer hurdle jump. Um, I, I'm going. I was going to say that he's old. He's not. It's very young, uh, <laughs> but uh, it's very experienced. And he has adapted himself to um, certain uh, to these uh, circumstances of how, how long is his uh, hurdle jump. So it depends of the the gymnasts, all the gymnasts. They learn. We teach them eventually the same way, but they all adapt in the in the, the things that they learn. Their own. They make the interpretation of what they they learn. So the thing is. If they don't, uh, if they can control the the arms up, I allow them to do that. But for younger kids, I would always teach them to use the arm swing. Always. If the, if you ask me which one I prefer, I prefer the arm swing. Okay. Thank you. The next question from Philip uh, is uh, maybe similar to the questions uh, we already had. Uh, what is the part of the physical athletic preparation? Uh, do you have something to add? Um, I don't have to, uh, Philip. I don't have to answer in French, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, please. <laughs> so uh, the. Um, I think this for double mini and especially for the young uh, kids and um, for um, because they do a lot of these straight bounces. Uh, the, we on trampoline we work a lot of, of the on the core because the, the, it gives you a, a lot of stability. Um, the, I think the core uh, plays a really um, a huge uh, role on the on the double mini um, because. Um, turning or um, transforming this horizontal speed into vertical speed um, uh, it's a, a big challenge for the kids so what, a common mistake that you see is when they touch the double mini the 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 stomach goes forward and instead of of the the skill going up they go it, it goes forward they, they travel too far okay so in the physical uh, ability, one of the most important for me would be the core and all the things that are responsible for the stability of the gymnast. And of course, then it's all the other um, issues about the run, okay? Um, here, uh, we have, uh, we need to be uh, aware that Every time that they start to, to work on these big uh, routines, big um, uh, degree of difficulty on the mount, the Trifis, the Ferlin, Rudy, uh, all of that, they start to sprint. And uh, the sprint, uh, like uh, 15, 20 sprints uh, per training or more, um, it's a lot of work on your legs, okay? So you need to be very, very, very fit. And sometimes, uh, people forget to 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 do to uh, work on something that is very important when you do all these ballistic uh, um, uh, exercises. It's flexibility, okay. Uh, and uh, there was a Portuguese gymnast that said that, that uh, if you are <laughs> if uh, they didn't like to, he didn't like to work on flexibility. 
um, but he was not a, 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 someone from double meaning. Uh, we had a lot of issues with, with Andrea Liku because he was very stiff. He was very, very stiff. And every time that we work, we increased the volume of training and uh, we, he started to work on uh, more on the, his uh, trifi stack, trifi spike mount. Um, so the, the run was more and more, it was stronger and stronger all the time and uh, more repetitions, more repetitions. Sometimes uh, the injury, the injury uh, came. So uh, he was focusing his training a lot also on this uh, prevention and the prevention uh, with uh, good flexibility and everything. So you get your muscles uh, very big not in in volume but in the in the, um, extension so you, they are able to to be to to do this uh, uh, contraction and uh, uh, very very strong okay so I, I don't know if i answer i i think i was a little bit confused <laughs> thank you uh, daniel would you like to add something from the point of view of the top gymnast and uh, special uh, physical preparation for double mini. Mm, I cannot add uh, a lot. Uh, I think Louis said the most, but um, for me, yeah, the flexibility is also a big problem. I'm more like uh, Andre, very stiff, but um, for the to, yeah to to get better or to have more physical uh, power. We also try to train a little bit in condition to be very focused and to be safe the whole training, the whole time. So um, sometimes we try to, to run three or five kilometers uh, per week. So that's also a part from our training when we do maybe around about 20 or 25 run-ups to the double mini. Yeah, and, and also pleo, uh, pleometric training, but this uh, this is all things that you can get power out out of the the um, of the gymnasty add power, okay. But when I when I spoke about um, um, flexibility it was about uh, something that it's I know that especially boys they don't like to train uh, uh, when they get older they don't like to train. Um, and it's very common to to see the boys with the, these um, um, bands around the legs, so they can get them their muscles together when they are on, uh, close to the competitions because they have been training harder and harder close to the competitions. So the injuries, most of the times, the injuries they uh, they appear right when we are close to the competition because we are training harder. And uh, so I was, uh, I think the prevention of, of it is uh, eventually more important than uh, the, the work uh, itself. Okay, thank you. Uh, the next question might be interesting for you as well. How important is to run? Canadians run very upright uh, with high knees uh, but other uh, other gymnasts uh, have other techniques is it important or is it personal pref preference of the uh, of the performer i think it's i think it's um, uh, it's a, the style of the gymnast uh, eventually you can add some technique high knees to to improve the speed but in portugal um, Andrea Liku was running very with very long steps, very, with high uh, knees. Um, and then you look at um, Bruno Nobre, that most of, of you know, he runs uh, um, far, very far from the double mini, a very long uh, run. Um, and he's very lean forward with small steps, and he goes really, really fast. Um, um, back in the 80s, we had a girl that was running very upright and he was smi she was smiling all the time. Um, uh, um, I was uh, trying to remember I IR run and now um, it came to my mind a very, uh, very stupid uh, uh, image, so I would not talk about that. Uh, so um, I think it depends on the style of the, of the gymnast. 
Of course, if we if we have in our program um, in the, in the, in the in, on training uh, the uh, technique of running, this will lead you to something that will start to look more similar. Okay. I think I believe that it looks more similar because if you have if you work on one technique, then eventually the Canadians I don't know, but eventually the the Canadian team they work on this uh, um, run up technique, which is good. Okay, and especially for girls they have re really good results. Uh, so eventually it comes from, from that also. Okay. Uh... Daniel, something to add? Okay, the last question of today, because we are short with the time now. Uh, in the hurdle jump, uh, you can see Zalomen be in a very tough position before his, uh, uh, he hits the mounting zone. Uh, what are your thoughts about it? Should we focus on being in tuck position? Yes, in, in my presentation, what I showed, uh, there was a slide with five photos of the, the first contact and all of the, uh, the gymnasts were very close. Uh, uh, they, were, they were very, not exactly tuck, it's not a tuck, it's not a pike, but they are, they are sitting down with, the, with almost the arms down. So I, and I showed um, that Andre Lico, for instance, he had his arms very, very low. And he was not doing a arm swing because he was not doing a, a spotter routines. He, he was eventually that he would do because um, on that competition he did trip tuck, trip pike, pike run the out and Flynn, Flynn Rudy straight. Um, so one of these skills he was going to do and he was very, very low. They are very low, very like on the uh, tuck position because they want to put all the power into the double mini and then with the, the extension they will add more power into the double mini well, okay so when they have their uh, tuck when they first touch and with the extension till the the maximum depression of the double mini they put all the power that they can on the on the double mini and then if they are done with their job, so now it's the job the double mini to push them up, and then they get the direction only. So I agree that Zalomin, um, Austin White, uh, um, Andrea Lico, uh, um, Daniel Perez is another another uh, very small gymnast that runs fast and gets a lot of power out of the double mini because he has a really nice first contact and very nice extension out of the double mini. So um, if you look at all these gymnasts, they will have this very, very, you can see it very clearly, okay? Um, but, but it's the best way to get the, the, um, the power out of the double mini. So this is correct for me. Okay, thank you very much. Daniela. Uh, yeah, the only thing I don't I, know if Daniel. Yeah, yeah. I, I was searching for some videos from Zalomin and I found um, some videos now from the Russian Cup. Um, I think um, the position in the mount is um, very similar to the other pictures. It's like a, a pike position. Um, I can show you, but I think uh, the quality is not the best. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, this is the, the, the moment when he um, when he touched the double mini. But um, I think the thing what um, Gustav was said, this is a very big, uh, bad picture, but before he jumped into the double mini, it's a very tough position. He jumped yes. a little bit higher. It's, yeah, he's very close, tuck, a little bit higher, and then pushed his legs very straight. And mm -hmm. then, yeah, his height is amazing. Not like it's, going, Diogo, but... it's like they want to smash the double yeah. mini. It's like it's like uh, Diogo Costa. It was uh, another another uh, another example. Diogo. Diogo, yeah. Okay, thank you. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> we have last two minutes. That means. Um,
let's uh, switch to the presentation again, the basic one. Uh, for next round of the webinars, uh, are in the preparation and will be announced uh, by European Gymnastics on 1st of April. The web webinars will be held uh, between April and uh, June. And uh, that was all for today. And uh, first of all, I would like to thank uh, very much to our expert, Luis, and our guests, Ulf and Daniel, and all of you participating uh, that you ca came to us and uh, that you um, visited our webinar. Uh, I would like to wish you all, all the best. Please take care and say, stay safe and healthy. And thank you all all of you and see you next time. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye, thank you. Auf <laughs> Wiedersehen. <laughs>